So I'd like to start with a quick tour of Integromat. So once you log in, this is what your dashboard looks like. And you can either head over to templates to start with a template, or you can click on this button to start with a blank scenario. So we're gonna start with a blank scenario. And uh, on this page, you can either um, search for the services you wanna start with or simply uh, click skip here. So, so typically a scenario begins with a trigger. So you, you first need to click on this big question mark here and it'll load all the services that Integromat supports. And let's say you wanna start with uh, emails. We wanna watch emails in a particular inbox. So we select this trigger, watch emails, which will trigger the scenario every time uh, you receive an email in a particular inbox of yours. And then um, to add another module, just click on this button here. And let's say you wanna send uh, this information to a Google Sheet. So you wanna add a row with um, the email data that, that you receive, the content of the email. And um, let's say you also want to send yourself a message on Slack. Now, Integromat has something really cool called routers. So a router lets you split a scenario uh, and create multiple routes. So you, you need to click here, um, you need to right click here on the, on, on, the, on the route here and click add a router. And now you can just click here and create uh, multiple routes. You can easily zoom in and zoom out like this and um, click on this question mark and look for Slack. You'll see the various actions that you have for Slack. And let's say you wanna create a message. Okay, and then you will see the configuration window load up where you need to configure your message, etc. Now, let's say you wanna add another route here and uh, say you wanna create um, a Jira issue with, with the email information and email data. Uh, so you can add a, um, another module here and say you also want to create a task on ClickUp using information from the Jira issue that you just created. So let's say uh, create task. So so that's, that's just an example scenario. You can obviously add more routes. You can add a whole bunch of filters. So let's say you wanna add a filter here and you only wanna send, uh, you only wanna create an, an issue with Jira if uh, the sender, uh, let's say I'm gonna name this route. Let's say the sender is whatever abc at gmail.com and you can create a condition that uh, the sender email address is equal to abc at gmail.com so so then this route will only uh, the data will be sent to this route only when this this condition is met you know similarly you might want to add another router here and uh, do something else also not just send um, not just create a task on, on ClickUp, but also do something else. Uh, you could do that. And here you can right click and you can maybe add uh, error handler. So you've got various directives to learn more about uh, error handlers. You can check out the documentation and you can add error handlers here. Similarly, you can uh, rename modules. So maybe I want to rename this module from Jira software, which is the default name to, to uh, say whatever, something specific email address whatever um, you can also add a note so you can cl uh, click on right click on any module and add a note so creates an issue um, stuff like that now um, you you might also want to uh, look at the tools here so you got a lot of useful tools such as uh, these are uh, triggers, aggregators, transformers. So I'm gonna use a transformer because I wanna compose a particular string, which um, I wanna send to my Google Sheet and to Slack and to Jira and not just the raw content of the email. So, so you select this module and you drag it wherever you want to add it. So I added it um, right after the email module and I'm gonna compose a string saying uh, new email received from, and I'm gonna add uh, the name of the sender and then I'm gonna map um, the text content of the email. So click okay. So when you when you set up the next module, say the Google Sheets module, um, you need to first obviously select a file you wanna send um, information to. And then here you can directly map the output of um, the composer string module, which is great, right? Um, 
you've also got a whole bunch of functions here um, general functions math functions text and binary functions date and time uh, so you if you have say a date field in your sheet you can use the now variable to um, add the current date and time you can maybe use the format date function to to format the the time to a particular format or or add a particular time zone of yours and so on so yeah and then here you need to save your scenarios obviously we'll ignore that you can uh, click on auto align to align your scenario nicely now very important is the schedule setting which you can go to by clicking here or by clicking this this clock here and here you've got uh, various options you can uh, trigger the scenario at regular intervals or only once or every day etc you've also got advanced scheduling options here where you can select um, a time frame um, and then you can select the days and the months so you've got a whole bunch of options here now you also might want to sometimes replace a certain module so maybe you want to replace the email module with the gmail module so i click here to uh, select the gmail module and um, I've got the watch emails module from Gmail. Now I might want to replace the email module with the Gmail module. So all you need to do is drag this little clock onto the new module here. And then you need to click on the route and on link, delete the old module and just connect the new module to your existing route. It's that simple. So that gives you an overview of how to create a scenario in Integromat and how to implement all kinds of cool features. Now I'm going to jump into the specifics for this particular webinar.